We got Artem Lobov versus Pauli Malignaggi uh, for Bare Knuckle Fighting Championships on June 22nd. So same night that the UFC um, and Bellator fight cards. Uh, you have Joe Riggs on the undercard. Um, Chris Lieben, uh, Bellatrans on there as well. But we're going to get into Lobov and Malignaggi. So Malignaggi. Malignaggi had a you know sparring session with Connor, and that's how kind of the beef started with Lobov, right? They got into it, you know, talking shit. Um, that um, Lobov was talking shit about Malignaggi that his he got beat up. That's how the beef kind of started. Um, so now we have these guys fighting in the bare knuckle. So it's boxing, it's it's boxing rules, right? Without the gloves, they do uh, hand wrap like their wrist. But not, you know, they're not covering the knuckles. Now, if this was a straight boxing fight, um, you know, with a traditional boxing rules, you know, Malignaggi would, you know, destroy Lobov, which I still think he is going to win. Probably going to win, but it's not going to be um, probably as easy. Uh, the reason why is Polly's not used to, um, he's a point fighter. Okay, so in boxing, he would use a lot of, um, you know, he would box with people, right? Which that's what you're supposed to do, right? Hit and not get hit. But his um, his uh, his hands would always um, get hurt when he was boxing, right? So he'll have, you know, full hand wraps and, you know, like the 12, 12 ounce gloves or 10 ounce gloves that they'll wear. And that obviously protects your hand, right? Now, a lot of people think that when you wear hand wraps and you wear a glove, that it's to protect the other fighter. The only thing it protects from is cuts, right? You'll see a lot of cuts in bare knuckle um, boxing because they're not wearing gloves, right? But you can throw as many hard shots if your your hands were fully wrapped and you, you had a 12-ounce glove on top you'll be able to throw a lot more shots if you wear gloves. So the difference here is that they're not wearing gloves. So Malignaggi might hurt his hand. You know, he might rock Lobov. He might knock him out. If he doesn't knock him out, if he just rocks him, he might break his hand. He usually has trouble. He's had trouble with his right hand, right? And that's going to be his, his power shot. So the hand wraps, that does make a difference, right? But... It's still only um, boxing. They're only using their hands. So Pauly obviously is going to have the advantage there. Another thing to consider, though, this is traditional boxing is, you know, they do 10 or 12 rounds. Here, it's only five rounds, and it's only two minutes around. Boxing is three-minute rounds, you know, with 30 seconds in between, and then you'll do 10 or 12 rounds. Here, you're going to have five rounds. So five rounds, two minutes each. So that's better for Lobov because he could just sprint, right, those two minutes. Those two minutes, you get a one-minute break. You go again two, minute, two minutes. So Polly's not going to have that much time to, like, um, you know, set in and, you know, get his rhythm because it's only five rounds. You know, what if Lobov ends up, you know, winning three of the rounds and he ends up surviving, he could probably end up beating Polly if he survives. Now, I don't think this is going to go to a decision. I think these guys are just going to try to knock each other out. If Polly's smart, he's he's going to, you know, stick and move. He's been saying, oh, I'm going to destroy this guy in one round. And the way he's been acting in, his, in the press conferences, it looks like um, Lobov is under his skin. So if, if he doesn't follow the game plan he just tries to brawl with lobov then lobov does have a better chance of winning so if he doesn't have his um his um his game plan that's an issue no um no no gloves that's an issue now also the rounds it's only five rounds two minutes each good for lobov another thing is that they do allow dirty boxing here 
in traditional boxing, once you do grab the, if you, you can't grab the back of the head and throw an uppercut or just throw any punch, right? You can't grab the back of the neck. That's illegal. Like they won't allow you to do that. They'll separate you and they'll give you a warning. Or if you're in the clinch, right? If you're fighting and you clinch up, you know, they separate you right away. Here they let you work a little bit. So Lobov can actually win the clinch exchanges, which I'm guessing that's going to be his game plan. Go forward, you know, make it a brawl with Polly. Get inside the clinch, wear him down, hang him, you know, do like the, the tie plum. Hang by his neck, get him tired. And obviously dirty box in there. So I think he has the advantage in the in the clinching game. I'm sure Pauly has, you know, some guys um, training with him that are doing that to him because he knows that's what Lobov is going to try to do. But Lobov could also just, you know, trip him or something. Do a fucking um, uh, a trip like, uh, like in Muay Thai, how you do it, right? They'll give him a warning, but hey, he could just, you know, mess with him like that. Get in his head. Get Pauly angry. Get him more angry. He's already angry. Get him more upset. So he abandons his game plan and just makes it a bra. Um, so those are the, the key points that I think Lobov um, could take advantage of, right? The the dirty boxing, right? The clinch game. But um, I think Pauly, if he stays composed, he's just going to be using his angles, getting out of the way and just picking apart uh, Lobov. Unless he hurts his hand. If he does end up breaking his hand, then he could be in trouble and Lobov could uh, take advantage of that. Um, but I still, I think there's going to be a pretty good fight. When it was just announced, I was all like, oh, Polly's going to destroy this guy, which I still think he's going to win. But it's, uh, it's a little more intriguing now that um, when I consider all the rules compared to traditional boxing. You can watch this on pay-per-view. Just go online and you'll be able to find um, how to order the, the pay-per-view.